In our previous video, we took care of the setup of our application, creating a virtual environment and installing the Flask dependency. In this video, we're going to see in more detail how the application actually works. As you might have seen, this entire tutorial is going to be divided in different steps that we can take to see different features of the Flask web framework. The first one is a very simple application. It might be the simplest application that you can build with your, the Flask web framework. In this case, we are defining an app object and that app object is being imported in the run application Python file. In this case, we have to understand that the app, in this case, is just an object created out of the Flask class. We are then, in the run app, using the application to mark some settings to do some configuration and finally we are running the application this app.run invocation will hold execution and will wait for calls by different clients so let's spin our flask application as you can see here it's running and if i go and access the application in my web browser i will see a new line logged and the response from the server. It's important to understand here that the app.run call is creating a web server and waiting for requests by different clients. This web server is intended for development only. It shouldn't be used on production environments. It's not a robust web server. It's just for testing and development. Let's take a deeper look at our application object. In this case, the application object, again, is just created out of the Flask class and it's doing just one particular thing. It's defining a route, the route slash, all right? The root of our web server, web application is going to be the slash route right here. It's decorating a simple function with this route, all right? So whenever a client access the slash route in our application it will be served whatever was returned by this hello world function all right it's as simple as that the important part here is done by this decorator the route decorator and if you don't know much about decorators don't worry you can always check our advanced python course and there are more information about decorators there it's important to understand here that Flask is taking care of a lot of details for us. We are just defining a simple function and we're returning the string that we want to return. But Flask is taking care of a lot of things in the background. It's processing or parsing the request done by the client and it's creating a full-fledged HTTP response for our client. In this case, if I inspect the network and I see what is going on here, we are just returning these symbols string but flask it's actually returning and we can see it right here a full-fledged http response with the protocol with content type with the content length etc it's doing a lot of work for us it's simplifying the work that we have to do to create a web application in the following videos, we will get to each one of these steps and we will see how the application can become more complex uh, to support other use cases.